And I think we can just take the fish eggs themselves straight up and put them in here. <laughs> We've got fish, ladies and gentlemen. We've got fish. Wow. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set up some Tier 3 ore extractors to start with, and then we'll see where we are. Uh, we're almost 20% of the way to the amphibian stage, so we're making progress there. Um, we are relatively low on power, but um, the ability for us to make Pulsar Quartz Crystals has unlocked... And so that's going to help tremendously. So now we don't have to rely upon those very rare uh, meteor storms that come down. Um, and also me losing my inventory when I had a bunch of them in there. So we won't talk about that, though. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. To make the pulsar quartz. All right. I guess we do that in the bio lab. Um, we need those things. All of which we could potentially set up a little production line uh, to make work. Um, we're going to start, though, by by taking care of it manually. But we might do that. We'll see how, how, our, how our time goes. Um, so, yeah. All right. What do we need for these extractors? Let's take a look-see. Um, here we go. Osmium, Super Alloy, Iridium. Okay, that's relatively cheap. Um, and we can, uh, and, and with these, we can tell it's what type of ore we specifically want it to get instead of just, you know, a, a prominent ore with byproduct. So that's the best thing about these. Let's pin this. And I think the first place that we want that to go is... We actually have two, two osmium caves that we could put that in, but the one that we're currently using is this one. And now that we have teleporters unlocked, it kind of doesn't really matter, you know, where they're located. But if we put it over one over here, um, then we have close by access to the osmium and the zeolite and the iridium, and then if we put uh, whoops, if we put another one up here in this new uranium cave, then they're all relatively close together. And why that matters is more for, for drones. If I'm going to use the drones, you know, to transport stuff. Um. So if we set up a production facility, this is going to be more or less... Um, in the center of all of those ores. And then we could also just set up a gas extractor, um, you know, for the gas part of it. In fact, I think uh, we also unlocked the, the Tier 2 gas extractor. Uh, did we? I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. Um, let's go look at that. We have not yet. Okay. Um, so we have to get to 15.5 thousand T on plants for that to happen. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to take down. I think we're going to take down the old ore extractors to get a few materials back, but more importantly, to reduce our power uh, consumption. Um, because I just, it, it's been a very, very long time since I've completely run out of, uh, the basic ores. Are these, yeah, that's just a common, oh, you know, another thing I, I wanted to do also is I wanted to get, I think I am going to set up, oh man, I got a whole shit, shitload of stuff in my inventory here. 
<laughs> okay, I gotta put that stuff away. Um, I, uh, I also want to set up this silk production thingy. Um, two. So, so I gotta think about that. What I could do for that is, um, we have you know extra space down here. We could we could hook up a another room. We could plop down an auto crafter inside of that room. Well, actually, we'll just use this one here, and then surround the room with a bunch of these and just let it go to town. Um. Would we have enough space though if we if we just used a a single room? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, lots of things to do. Let's uh, let's focus on the ore extractors for for starters though. Um, <clears throat> and also, I'm probably gonna want some teleporters in those locations at least until we have. Um, you know, the, the whole logistic chain set up for that. And these require quite a bit of power too, like over 330. Yeah, we don't even have enough to set down another teleporter at the moment with what else is going on. So let me get this stuff put away first. And what we'll probably have to do is manually see if we can assemble... Uh, enough pulsar quartz crystals. Do I have? Oh, I have one in here too. So okay, uh, we would need a total of five. So we'd need to be able to make four more of them to do the to another fusion reactor. Yeah, that should be that should actually be very doable. Um, okay, yeah. So let me get this stuff put away, and then uh, we will we'll get a, another fusion reactor set up. All right, guys, I got all the stuff together to make four more pulsar quartzes. And then we're going to need, I think, four supers. And that should give us everything we need for the next fusion generator. Oh, and we got to grab the extra pulsar quartz out of here, too. Oh, good. We got the thing that allows us to start collecting plankton for frogs. So we'll do that next. Right. Set that down there. Gives us our next uh, batch of power. All right. So this thingy, where it, where did it go? Right here. Let's pin that. Oh, I can pin three things. Okay. That I could only pin two things. Let's unpin you. Um, we're gonna need silk. Okay, so let's disable this for the moment uh, because we're gonna need silk. And I also got um, silkworm started here. To make more of these. Let's grab another uncommon larva and we'll store the, the silkworm in there. We need a, a bacteria and what was the third thing we needed? Oh, and a fertilizer. So I'm just going to keep making a bunch of silkworms so we can get that little production line up and going for fabric. Now, I'm, I know that there are much more valuable things that we could set production lines up for, but you know, in order to do that, you have to, you have to do it. <laughs> so in other words, it's a lot more involved and requires a lot more power. Um, and that, and we might do a little bit of that. I don't know. It's just, like I said, we're, we're at the very tail end of this series and I'm trying to get it finished before one Oh releases. So we'll just kind of see how things go together here. Okay, so we're working on this plankton thing, right? Okay, so we need two bioplastic nuggets. Um, that's going to require mushrooms and silicon and water, I believe. Do I have any silicon in overflow? 
We've got one there. And we'll grab one out of here. That'll do, give us our two bioplastics. Um, actually, let's grab some water too. And then we'll need a super, and then we're just waiting on two more silk. So I'm going to put the other ingredients temporarily in that chest until they're ready to go. And then once we get this plankton thing in the water, we'll be able to we'll be able to start making frog eggs. And I guess we put those in our aquarium. Uh, unless we can just put them straight up in Well, those aren't frog eggs, those are fish eggs. Okay. So I guess we just put those in our, our our aquarium for now, but we can, you know, we'll be able to make a larger aquarium later on and I'm assuming eventually we can put them directly in the lakes. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're just waiting on that. Uh, to finish so let's get our first tier 3 ore extractor ready to go oh that's interesting it made the other one disappear okay so we're gonna need a super alloy rod we're gonna need an osmium rod and an iridium rod And three titanium. Okay. Um, let's run over to. I'm just gonna grab this to top off our food. Let's go over to the zeolite cave and get this one going first because we don't have anything going for that yet uh, we have 1679 power and do I want to also do another teleporter I think that I do all right let's um let's pin that so we're going to need another super rod. We're going to need another osmium. Another zeolite. An obsidian. Oh, shit. And we need two more crystals. Quartz crystals. All right. So that means... We need two more osmium, two more zeolite, two more iridium, two more uranium, and two more of those. Two more osmium, two more zeolite, two more uranium, and two more iridium. I'm just glad we can make these things because otherwise we were going to kind of be in trouble a little bit. All right. Are you... Okay, we're waiting on one more of you. Are you done? Oh, why did that stop researching? Or did I forget to press the research button? Maybe that's what I did. I don't know. All right. Let's go to our lakeside base. Oh, I still have this one down? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Okay, well that's a good thing. Because now we have materials for two. Okay, yeah, let's uh... Let's take this part, we don't need it over here. Nice.
So we're going to set up one in that uranium cave, but I want to get the zeolite going first because that's the one that doesn't have anything on it yet. Oh, let's pick this too. The Volmus flower. That's, um... Okay. That's 500% multiplier. Almost as good as the, uh... The golden flower. Let me look at the map, actually. Is that... That's not the zeolite cave, is it? Where are we at? We're right here. Oh, no. The zeolite cave's actually on the other side of the... Of the sulfur fields. But... We also have these three caves, too. And then this one is pretty far over that way, but it's still closer than the other uranium cave, which is way over there. So probably right, right around here is going to be a good midpoint for the drones to do their thing. Um... So... It's relatively flat right here in this little tiny peninsula. Or what we could do is we could set up some foundations up on this little island, but it's kind of steep. I think that's probably more trouble than it's worth. Maybe even just right here on the shore would be a good spot. Okay, so for the moment... I'm just going to set this up out in the wild. Um, because, you know, we'll have to set up a, like a little facility. How much are, how much are these worth? 25 Terra tokens. Okay. I mean, if we get to a point where we have an overstock of them, you know, then we can sell them too. But as far as I know, the, the fusion generators are the highest level of power we can create create in the game. I don't think we have anything higher than that. Could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it was saying on the map is the zeolite cave right here. Is it? Wait a minute, no. Hold on. No, the map seems to indicate that it's kind of in between the sulfur and the sand zone. So they, more over this way. I didn't know we had a cave over here. It's like right in this spot. Oh, maybe it's not a cave. Maybe it's just in this area. Alright, well let's set it down and see what happens. This is the big one, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not giving us a zeolite option here. So it's not that spot. All right, let's go back here for a second. Let's look at the map again. So the map is indicating that there's a zeolite that we can mine right here. But because it's over the top of the mountain, that indicates seems to indicate that that's inside of a cave. I know there's a cave right about here that goes through here to this biome, but that's more over in here. Hmm. And I don't 
don't see a cave over here. This this cave over here is is too far away. I th well, I think it is. Maybe what we oh okay maybe what we do is we come through here. And the zeolite is in this cave. Oh, I bet you that's what it is because it's got these big, big zeolite thingies. Okay, yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, so let's set it down here and see if that's indeed... Oh, there's ice in here. How about that? I haven't seen that in a while. Here, you get out of there. I'm just going to get this out of the way too okay that should give us enough room there we go okay we got it figured out so this will start producing zeolite for us and um, we need to make it a supply but I don't know if I want to do that yet until we have a demand for it. Nice. Okay, so we got zeolite going there. The next thing we want to do is we want to get one of these set up for osmium in this cave. Which is actually the same cave. It's just, it branches off and goes the other way. So, that being the case. I mean, uh, yeah, okay, the thing I don't know about the drones is do they have distance limitations or can they fly across the entire map? You know, I, I don't know the answer to that question. But I think... The osmium one could go up through here because this pops out and goes out at this wreck here. So if we just put one down, you know, maybe if, if we could get it as far down here, then it's close to the other one and it's, you know, relatively flat. Okay. All right, what I want to do then is I want to grab the, let's take down the tier two osmium. And in fact, I'm going to take down all of the tier two ore collectors just because they're consuming power. And we're going to need that power for, for the new ones we're going to do. So we're going to keep this one, except we're going to replace it with a tier two. Or no, a tier three actually, because it's currently a tier two. But I'm going to deconstruct it for now. Uh, that's all right. All right. Let's also take down. I've got an aluminum extractor running over here, but I don't use aluminum nowhere near as much as I used to. So we could probably afford to take this one down too. And we can always set one back up again if it turns out that we do need more. I've got so much shit in here. Okay, yeah, so let's grab this out of here. I think what I might end up doing though is taking this aluminum back to the main base. These are all chocked full of basic stuff. All right, we'll put those in there, those in there. I want to keep all of the rest of that. Let's grab this aluminum here. Don't care about that titanium. And we'll grab.
grab that one there. Okay, we'll take all the rest of this back to the main base. Which is probably going to be faster to go through back this way and go through the portal. And then we'll go pick up the the tier 2 osmium extractor. And we're going to rebuild a tier 3 up in that cave there so it's closer to the other ones. I'm not going to rename that t teleporter yet until I'm sure that's where I'm going to keep it. Uh, we're at 25% on the terraformation index. So things are moving along. Oh, wow. I'm chocked full of aluminum. All right, let's actually put this aluminum in here because we need that when we make super rods. I think, too, I'm going to put... Well, no, I think I want... I might want to keep... Uh, do I want to keep... Uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to keep a, a parts for another teleporter on my person at the moment. Just because we, we kind of need space right at the moment. So we'll put those there. Pulsars go in there. Oh, iridium and iridium rods go in there. Supers go in here. And the plant. We should put the plant in one of the, in here. We'll swap it out with this one. We might as well put it to use until we have a more permanent assignment for it. I should probably should replace all of the uh, tier one flower spreaders and grass spreaders with tier three or tier two flower spreaders, but that's all right. All right, what are we doing? We're going to, uh, we, want, we want enough stuff to rebuild Um, here, actually, no, let's do this. Let's go grab the osmium extractor, take it down. Then we'll come back and we'll make the tier three and then put it in the, its permanent location cave. If I get around to it, I'll also eventually take down all these oxygen sh shacks that are all over the place because we no longer need them that's not a priority all right so you just have basics except for I will take the super alloy and the iridium out of here I think I'll take the aluminum and the iron back with me. Okay. Uh, so this one's taken down. Um, and what we want to do is, like I said, reset it up. There's like three osmium caves right here. Okay, let's go back to the base, make sure we have all the materials we need for uh, the tier, the next tier three extractor. Okay, we have um, the silk that we need to uh, make that uh, plankton thing. Let's turn this back on uh, for producing that stuff. 
Oh, we need to grab these parts out of here that we stashed. And let's put this, let's put it right here. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, it's cool. It's like a little net thingy. Use it in the incubator to create fish. All right. We will do that when the time comes. We need to make three more tier three uh, stations. And um, let's uh, let's pin that tier three extractors to be precise. Okay, so that means we need three Oz rods. We need three iridium rods. And we need three super rods. And nine magnesium. Or, I'm sorry, titanium, not magnesium. There we go. Now, how much power do these use again? Uh, 346. Yeah, we'll be able to put three more down. Okay. 27%. Let's go back to the lakeside base. Top off our food. And we're going to run up to this cave. Oh, actually here, let's put our iridium one down first. Now that I think about it, we should put it over near this entrance so it's closer for the drones. Next, we will go to the Osmium. We already have the zeolite set up. Can we get away with setting it here? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Okay. So that one's pretty close to the entrance, and then the other one's just a little ways up through here. Let's go check it and see what it's got in it. Oh, wow, that fills up fast. All right, we'll grab those. Not bad. And then the final one will be all the way over at the uranium cave, uh, which is this way. Alright, I wanna I wanna look at something again here. Um if we set up here we've got three drones traveling from here to there and one drone traveling from there. Just wonder if it makes more sense to put the facility closer to these three and just have one really long traveling drone. I don't know. Well, I think I'm I'm going to just stick with our current plan and we'll we'll build the facility here in this location. What are you? Oh, nice. A 600% butterfly larva.
Oh wow, well, there's golden butterflies over here. That's cool. I have an extractor in the old uranium cave that I'm going to take down because we don't need that running any longer. Um, boy, is there room to set one down in here? Let's actually mine the uranium first. Got some more tokens, that's good. This is a fairly flat spot. I guess the uh, I guess the drones don't care about obstructions because they can just kind of blink right through walls and things. Only have room for three more. back out that way. Where did we... Where did we come into this cave at? Oh. Alright, we'll pick this up after we set down the extractor. Oh yeah, this is where we came in. Okay. Looks like we have a Oz storm coming. Any chance we could set this out here? We can. Okay. Cool. Worm sticking out of the wall. Okay. Where was that chest? I think it was over here, right? Right. Right here. Oh, man. I don't want to leave that stuff behind. Let's just do this. Okay. Alright, good. So we're set up with our uranium. And I don't think the drones will have any any difficulty with that. So all of uh, the four ores are set up. The other thing we need to do is build a gas extractor. But we need methane gas. So the gas extractor seems to... Um, where the hell am I going? Go the wrong way. Uh, seems to favor nitrogen over methane. So we might need to build a couple of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to see what see what to do about that. Alright, let's go back to oh, I wanna name this. Um Okay, we're gonna call this Pulsar Production. Okay. 
Let's go back to the waterfall. Twenty-eight point eight percent there. Put that in there. This uranium could go in there. We need to, uh, need to build a butterfly thingy for that. All of that can go in there. All right, let's get another silkworm going. So that's a uncommon larva. Um, I think it's a bacteria and a fertilizer. Right? Yes. Make sure that starts researching. All right. Let's do the do it, get this butterfly thing taken care of real quick so we can keep insects growing. Uh, we need a T2 fertilizer. And we're going to have to make uh, plastic. Let's just harvest all of this stuff. I want one of those. Uh, uh, no, one of those back in my inventory. And we need to get a water back in our inventory, too. Okay, um, let's go. We got to get some silicon for the bioplastic. make two bioplastic which means uh, which means we need one more of those with the squash in here and the eggplant in here and that's where I was keeping the bioplastic but I have a lot more bacteria so I changed it up um and then we just need a, ze whoop, a zeolite which we have quite a bit of now, which is nice. Let's put this butterfly thing right here. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, we got that done. Now, um, I think the next thing we need to do is probably set up like a little production facility. Um, and... I don't know if I need to. <clears throat> it seems to me like it would make sense for me to set up a second drone station over in that location. Um, because otherwise, all the drones have to travel from here all the way to there, unless they can take the teleporter. See, if they could take the teleporter, then we should test that theory, actually. Okay, but let's not do that yet. We gotta we gotta finish setting up the rest of the parts uh, to what we're trying to do. How's our how's our power look? Uh yeah, see it's down again. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go take down the other one or two extractors that I have running uh, to gain some of that power back and the resources. And then, um, then we need to, to build a couple of gas extractors and build a little facility over at that, uh, that new location. So, um, I'll bring, bring you guys back in just a little bit after I get that stuff done. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, a couple things unlocked off camera, uh, the tier four heater or no, sorry, tier five heater. This thing generates 3,624 units of heat uh, versus the tier four, which is only 430. So that means it would take about, see 10 of these would be 4,030. Nine. Yeah, it takes about somewhere around nine-ish or so of these to generate the same heat as just one of these. 
That uses 432 energy. Those use 61. So what we could do is we could take down probably all of these and put a couple... Well, here. Let's go look. Let's go assess the situation. How many of these do I have going on? I've got... Okay, we got 12 there, 13, 14, 15. So... If I took all of these down, I would need two tier fives to generate roughly the same amount of heat. Um, what is 15 times 61? That's, that's, that's about 900 thingamadoodles of energy. Two of those would be... 800 and some odd thing of doodles of energy. Okay, yeah, let's um let's look at something here. Oh, by the way, the other thing it unlocked is a butterfly larva that does a thousand percent insect multiplier. That's insane. Oh, and something else, too. We we have fish eggs and plankton. All kinds of things happening, man. Let's go do that first. So this thing... Um, oh, no, not that thing. This thing. This thing actually creates fish eggs. I thought it just did plankton. And we got plankton A and B. So let's grab all of that out of there. And I think we can just take the fish eggs themselves straight up and put them in here. <laughs> We've got fish, ladies and gentlemen. We've got fish. Wow. So... Yeah, th these are the first animals that we have the very first animals <clears throat> because the game makes a distinction between insects and animals I mean they're all in the animal kingdom but you know what I'm saying right oh that is so cool I think that's worthy of a screenshot um, here, let's get rid of these first what's the other thing the insect dealio okay and uh, Looks pretty good right there. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got fish. Uh, we can put uh, two different kinds of fish in there too. Does this um? Yeah, this is this is uh, definitely contributing to animals at four hundred percent. Very nice. Okay. So, I think what we should do is tear down. Oh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put those. Um. All right, let's... Do we even have room for another chest in here? It's pretty crowded right now. Oh, we have enough stuff to make another silk generator, too. Yeah. Just... Oh! We we can do that, uh, that better storage chest. That's right, because we sold that... Uh, we sold that fuse. All right, hey, let's uh, let's get that going because you know storage, right? Such a pain in the ass. Um, let's go over here. So I've never bought anything from this so far. Um, we want the tier two storage locker. Trade. Okay, so we have. Over 8,000 Terra tokens. So if we just... What do we need? Just hit this. Total cost. Is that... Wait a minute. Is that the... No, that's a chip. Okay, I was going to say. So that's a blueprint. It's not like 5,000 tokens per locker. It's for the blueprint to make the lockers. 
And do we have to... Will it just bring us back, bring that back to us after it launches next time? That's my guess, so let's just let it do its thing and we'll see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to just set up another chest. Well, actually, you know what? We've got a bunch of chests that aren't being used in the main room. But we might as well just put those to use. All right, so we're going to just call this Plankton. Um, and we'll put all those in there. Well, no, actually, we need, I think we need the bee Plankton. Let, let's create another fish egg in here. And, but I also want to do these larvas and replace all of our other larvas because a thousand percent multiplier is like crazy. So we need a B, a fertilizer, and a T3 mutagen. Um, those are T2 mutagens. All right, what do we need to make a tier three mutagen? Bacteria, nitrogen, and sulfur. there and start researching some fish this is just a normal storm okay so we got the plankton thing taken care of we want to build another silk uh, producing thingy and I'm gonna see if Squeeze, squeeze another one in there. So we need a zeolite, a water, and an oxygen. Zeolite. Um, oxygen is here. Grab some more water out of this. Okay, this is a supply. And this is a supply. No, we don't need to set this up as a demand because it, it'll automatically pull from the from there. That's just for the drones. Okay, cool. So we got two of those going now. Now let's uh, let's deal with the the tier five heater situation. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, let's take a look and see how much heat we're generating first of all. Actually, just take a snapshot of this on my phone. But we're basically generating 461,020.75 PKS of heat. Let's see if we if we take down all the tier fours and set up two tier fives. If that will um, be at least equivalent, because I think it'll use less energy, if my math is correct, which don't ever bet on that. If nothing else, it should take up less real estate. Of course, I don't know how big these things are going to be. I'm just going to break them all down and then I'll come and pick all the stuff up. 
Okay, so I got everything picked up there. Um, made some more rods. We're going to need a total of uh, six, yeah, six uh, super rods. And we're going to need six iridium rods and six explosives. That's to make two tier five heaters. <laughs> okay, you know what I want actually like to do before we make these is I'd like to move this rocket platform over. And put the heaters on the other side of them. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, we have to wait for the rocket to be empty. All right, I'm going to temporarily place the heaters over here then. And I'll move them uh, back and make them nice and neat later. Wow, look at the size of those things. <laughs> They're huge. Okay, let's go back and see if we're making at least as much heat as we were, uh, as we was before, as we were before. Was, were, where was, words. And, um, okay, so if we take a look at this. Oh, I can already tell you we're making more because that was 4,000 and something. Now it's 5,000. To be uh, precise, though, the picture that we took showed us that. My iCloud storage is full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we were at 46, 461,000. We're now at 508. And I think we probably, I should have also looked at our power consumption. Uh, but I think we saved a little bit of power, too. So let's use 432. All right, why don't we... Do I have enough stuff to make... Uh, five more of these. Because I'd like to make two more. Yeah, we're gonna need five of each of those. Uh, I'd like to make two more tier five heaters. So let's grab, oh, damn it, I crashed again. All right, I had yet another crash. Um, this game continually crashes on me. I hide most of that from you guys. I have mentioned it in the past, but yeah, it's still happening and it's supremely frustrating. Um, I, I don't know what else to do. Um, you know, setting the frame rate or, or locking the frame rate at 60 frames um, helps. Keeping it on full screen exclusive helps. Because if I don't have those two things on, it crashes like all of the time. Like, I mean, it'll crash within a minute or less of starting the game. <clears throat> but even with these settings and my, you know, I've got a, a Radon, Radeon a 7900 XTX card. Um, it still, it still crashes and it's just frustrating. I can't tab out of the game. If I tab out of the game, it'll crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, hopefully, they've done some improvements in that regard, optimization or or more, you know, st stable, made the game more stable uh, with 1.0. We'll see how that goes, though. Uh, all right, what we were doing? We were oh, we're gonna make another uh, fusion generator uh, so that we can make two more tier five heaters. That's what we're gonna do. So. Yeah, I had pinned this, and we just need five each of those pieces of stuff. Yeah, see, this is not doing methane, it's doing... I would, Maybe the Tier 2 version lets you choose which one you want it to make. Um, that's going to make our production line interesting. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how that uh, comes together. Got some extra iron here. Let's put that in wherever we can find a spot for it. 
Uh, we'll have to go to Overflow 5 now. Oh, Overflow 5's got stuff in it too. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, now we'll go to 6. We need 5 Osmium. We need 5 Zeo. We need 5 Uranium. And 5 Iridium. Okay, let's make the Pulsar Quartz's. And then I think we're going to need four supers. We're in business. Okay. Now, um, we're going to need six of these, six of these, and six of these. Put uh, you there, take one of you, drink one of you. What I'm going to do uh, when the rocket comes back is I'm going to move the launch platform next to this launch platform. And then we'll set all the heaters up over there nice and neat. But for now, we're just plopping them down kind of haphazardly here. Okay. Monsters. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So that should uh, really give our heat like... A serious boost. Let's take a look at it real quick. Yeah, so that that's get, gets our heat up to almost a hundred thousand PKs. I mean, no, a million PKs, which would probably, at that point, we'll switch to uh, you know the next number up, which is M would I guess would be MK MKS. Nice. Okay, whoops. Um, so that means our rocket's back. Or on its way back. Now, did it bring us the blueprint that we bought? Yeah, it must have because um, we, we had over 8,000 tokens before. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> look at that. All right. Let's move this thing over. Where the hell is it at? Uh, oh, right here. Okay. I wonder if this is going to screw up our drone. We'll have to wait and see if uh, okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, I, I think we need to reset that up as a, a demanding inventory. This is demand, and it wants cloth. Yeah, there it goes. I just heard the drone kick in again, and food. Yep, and it just delivered some. Okay, cool. That's reset. All right, now let's redo these nice and neatly over next to the launch platform. So I want 
Route 2. Yeah, we'll just keep it that orientation. Um, but I want it. I want to be able to walk through there. So actually, let's do it from here. That should work. Okay. Get it more or less centered with that one. Pull it back to about there. Can we still get through here? Yes, we can. All right, get it lined up with that one and back to probably about there. Can we walk through here? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. We're going to have a problem with this thing, I think. Yeah, maybe not. We're not walking through the... Uh, that's jank. I don't like jank. Got to pull these back a little bit. That damn perfectionist in me, man. All right, so line that up with this, pull it back, but bring it back even further to maybe here. That's probably a little further than we needed to, but that's, you know what, that's okay. I just want to be able to walk through there. Um, the reason for that is because um, we did not do a very good job of lining that one up, did we? Okay, we'll redo it. You know, because when we get, like, the, the super storms, I need to be able to go in between these to pick the ore up and stuff. All right. So we are facing west. Bring this back to about there. Got plenty of room to get in between. Let's reset this one. We might need to move you out of the way to do that properly, though. That's better. Perfect? No, but good enough. Enough to not really be an eyesore. All right. So we made some pretty damn good progress in this episode. Um, let's talk about what's going to happen next. Let's go take a look up here. Let's do a game save before I get another fucking crash. Uh, we're 35% of the way, almost 36% of the way to amphibians. Um, we did a massive heat boost. And when do we get the tier 5 drill? When we get to 23,000 KT biomass. Okay, so I'm gonna... What does this do? That's an insect spreader. And this will, this will unlock at 15... Uh, automatically it doesn't tell us in the description if that will um, set up uh, allow us to specify you know what type of gas to do but I think what we'll do in the next episode is we will um, I'm, <coughs> I'm gonna make these butterflies and replace the other butterflies with these uh, for the boost. I'll do that off camera. And then we'll we'll actually continue working on setting up our uh, quartz crystal production in the next episode. I think that's what we'll do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.